Speak Indo podcast is a medium to think about life while learning about the Indonesian language and culture. Hi, I'm Natasha, the host of Speak Indo podcast. The first part of the story will be narrated in the Indonesian language. The second part will be in English. The transcript is available on our blog, speakindo.life, and our YouTube, Speak Indo channel. Season 3, Episode A2, Homesick. Dari lahir sampai umur 18 tahun, aku tinggal dengan orang tuaku. Rumah orang tuaku mempunyai tiga kamar tidur, dua kamar mandi, dua kamar pembantu, dan satu kamar mandi pembantu. Di bagian belakang dan depan rumah ada taman dan pagar. Di samping kiri dan kanan rumah ada garasi dan taman kecil. Rumahnya berwarna putih dan mempunyai banyak jendela. Kalau pagi hari, semua jendela dibuka lebar. Saat matahari terbenam, jendela ditutup kembali. Bila ada pohon yang berbuah di taman, misalnya pohon mangga, kelapa, rambutan dan jambu, maka ramai-ramai hasilnya akan dimakan bersama. Kadang kita bagikan juga ke tetangga di sekitar rumah. Sewaktu aku umur 18 tahun, aku pindah ke Amerika untuk melanjutkan sekolah. Saat libur sekolah, aku pulang ke rumah dan kadang bersamaan dengan waktu panen buah. Salah satu memori indah setiap aku pulang ke rumah. Arti rumah tidak hanya bentuk fisik, tapi memori saat berada di tempat itu yang membuat aku kangen untuk pulang. The next one will be the English version of the story. I lived with my parents from the time I was born till I was 18 years old. My parents' house has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, two rooms for the maid, and a bathroom for the maid. There are gardens and fences, both at the back and the front of the house. On the left and right sides of the house, there is a garage and a small garden. The house is white in color and has many windows. In the morning, all windows are open to their fullest. When the sun goes down, they are all closed. If any of the trees in the garden bore fruit, such as the mango, coconut, rambutan, and guava trees, then the harvest will be eaten together. Sometimes we also share with the neighbors around the house. When I was 18 years old, I moved to America to continue my education. During school holidays, I returned home and sometimes that coincides with the fruit harvest. One of the sweet memories every time I go home. The meaning of a home is not just the physical aspect, but the memories tied to being at that place are what always makes me homesick. As this is one of our additions, as we are still in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, we'd like to extend our deep condolences to those who have lost their loved ones. This is definitely a very difficult time for everyone, and we can only hope that soon we can all heal as nature flourishes. Probably one day when we look back, we learn that how valuable is the time that we have to hug our loved ones, to be kind to our fellow humans, and to thank the sun for shining upon us. I'm Natasha, your host of Speak Indo podcast, and we would like to thank our guest speakers for sharing their story. If you like the story, please share it with your friends and family. The transcript of the story is available at our blog, speakindo.life, and our YouTube, Speak Indo channel. You can subscribe to our channel so that you won't miss any upcoming episodes. These are our stories. What is yours?